Right guys, so before I start this video, I just want to say that I was actually calling this uh, sort of algae on my sand bed, calling it a cyano, whereas now, I'll show you it here. I think it's actually dinos, which I've spoken to a few people about, and they some have said dinos, some have said uh, like a cyano, but it's long, hairy, like little strips of, I want to say algae, I'm not sure what the correct uh, word to say is. All the calls are fine, but I've realised that when testing for phosphates, I don't know if you can see this, I'm actually filming a selfie, ga uh, selfie camera, but yeah, these were zero and my nitrates were one. So ever since I've done a big water change to sort algae out, which is growing on my glass, it's actually backfired massively. So yeah, I just want to clear that up before the video. Um, I'm finding out ways to treat it. If anyone got any uh, tips or anything, let them let me know. But yeah, it's uh, the torch is struggling a little bit, but it's looking better than what it was before. And apart from that, all the calls are fine, so it's, it's a bit weird. Right, in today's video, we're going over a new fish. Also going to talk about a fish that's died. And then we're also going to talk about a few of the calls and also a few of this, which I believe is cyanobacteria which we'll get on get onto in the video <laughs> right so start off with the bad thing as you can see the little watchman gobo that used to hide underneath here died now this thing nothing to do with my water quality nothing at all apart from the fact even though i've got a jump guard it still managed to squeeze itself out of here and i found it right in that corner there I mean, I took no notice of it. I saw my jump guard wasn't even on properly around this area. And I thought, oh, just literally pull it back on without even thinking about it. And then when I went to feed them, always I spot feed him. Went to, nothing came out, looked underneath, wasn't there. Looked all around my tank. Obviously, this isn't a big tank, so you think, oh, like, <laughs> not, not really much well for him to hide. And yeah, literally, first thing I think of is, right, let's look down the side of the tank and I found him there on the floor. That is my second watchman goby that's died now. First time I got it, it well, died within 24 hours of me getting it. So I'm not going to say that's too much my fault, but this one, I don't know, it's not really too much I could do about that. I mean, it happens to quite a lot of people. But yeah, it's just the, oh, it's just the last thing you want, isn't it? Especially when you buy a jump guard and it stops, doesn't stop them from jumping. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's one of the bad things that's happened. I've gone to this bacteria as well, this cyano algae bacteria. This is sort of coming out now, to be honest. And I mean, I've now just noticed it whilst recording this video, I've got that over there, which I don't want to give a name, but you know, the rock is going a bit, yeah, as you can see there, look as well, just above that frog spawn, which is almost dying. Yeah, it's just a lot of, it's just algae, just, yeah. See it growing in a few areas, actually. Not sure if you can pick up on it. But yeah, the glass, obviously, I think last video, I think the glass was uh, becoming, uh, like having quite a lot of algae on it, but now I've done a big water change and I haven't cleaned it the past two days. Obviously got a few bits there. But yeah, that's pretty much like, yeah, like a mirror. So it looks wicked, so I've sorted that out, but yeah, it's just all this stuff which I want to find out what's, what the reason was causing it. But yeah, it could, could just be a few things, high nitrates, no, not even high nitrates, my nitrates are too. Phosphates, only thing I don't test at the minute. <laughs> so yeah, I can't really say it's gonna be high phosphates, I don't even, don't even check them. So that's something I will be doing. But yeah, that's the sort of bad thing. I'm not sure what's going on here to this thing. Sort of three snails. Are they eating something? I don't know, three snails there. Not three snails, sorry, three hermit crabs. Maybe four hermit crabs, they have just a little party down there. Anyway, now we're going to the fish. Now, the goby died. I was going to get another goby, but I was having a bit of bad luck and I saw this guy. A little flame scooter blenny. And this guy looks wicked, like really nice colours, really nice colours. And yes, I did do some research. I know they literally live off copods. That is fine. I've been, I mean, 
as you can see here, got a little copod net. I've been, and then fridge full of copods. I mean, this is for me gonna last me about a week. I'm just gonna chuck them all in. And some rotifers as well. But yeah, uh, we'll be getting more of them. Fish store didn't have them today, but yeah, I know these guys literally love them, feed off them. So yeah, I will be looking after this guy, making sure he's eating properly. I mean, if I see anything that's wrong with him, or he's just not eating and not, not enough cobalt seem to eat, I'll sort him out a new home. But yeah, whilst I'm trying to keep him alive, keep him well fed, yeah, that's gonna, he's on my main priority. So yeah, got one of these bad boys. It's really small as well, so it's not, yeah, he's small. Very small, in fact. So yeah, I'm temperature acclimating him now. Then I'm gonna drip acclimate. Um, and as for the corals, I mean, all looking well. Apart from the torch, he's gone a bit weird. But yeah, I'm not sure really what's going on to be honest with the torch. So I've moved the torch off that little ledge, like it was last video. Uh, place him down there for now. Just gonna keep an eye on him. Uh, yeah, a few of these are really nice. I moved a little small uh, blasto there. Big blasto here. Duncan's grown another head. I'm going to move this in this video maybe, or won't show on the video, but I'm going to move the blasto. Maybe here. Let's see if I guess focuses. Yeah, move it there. Just because I know these could sting each other. I mean, it, it's obviously not because it's still out. But yeah, I'm going to we'll be moving that. Just because he's, he's puffing up. Uh, as for the hammer, hammer's fine, frogspawn's fine. That frogspawn there is a bit dodgy. Um, Monty, Montipora, it's, you can't, yeah, the colour's not really going up there. It's, I mean, the colour's okay, but it's, it's not really good enough. Uh, actually, the Digi, Digi's doing fine. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to buy a lens for this camera, this phone, sorry. And then uh, you'll be able to pick up these calls a lot better. But yeah, that's everything for there, the little Lobo, which I'll move to the front now. Vermited snails are not <laughs> nowhere to be seen. So yeah, it's good, good sign. I mean, there's a few on that hammer, but I'd I'm, yeah, I'm, what's the word? In control. Yeah, as for the Duncan, it's Got two little heads, one there growing. Is that a head there? No, it's not, but there's one behind. I don't know if you, oh, you're about to see that there. Let's see if I can zoom in. We'll go over the top. There you go, there. Another head, so yeah. That's the magic. Zoas are doing well. I mean, not growing, but <laughs> doing fine. So yeah, just getting this little one accl acclimated now. Look at that, wicked. The only thing is he's small, so it will be hard to see, but I mean, he's going to be on the rocks most of the day and in the sand bed, just looking for cobot. Right guys, the uh, scooter blend he's in. Just need to try get him out. I mean, he's, he's not... Try it, there we go, there we go. And there he is. Get out of the way there. Nice, there he is. Sorry for that awful filming, but two things at once isn't for me. <laughs> but yeah, there he is there. Hopefully he just doesn't go hiding. That's the last thing I want. But yeah, he looks wicked. Gonna let him get settled in. Gonna put some food in for him now as well. I mean, should be enough copods. I mean, I put five packets in literally the other day, but just put some more in to get him, get him feeding. And yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I mean, as for the next video, I mean, my fish store have got in some gold torches. I mean, some like big uh, colony of it. So they're gonna frag it up. The guys said they'll let me know when they fragged it up. I think it was 120 pound per head. I mean, for gold torch, that's like good. So just gotta make sure it look, like, looks good as well. I'll have a look, but yeah. Hopefully that is my next core purchase. But I mean, I do wanna try to sort this out first because that's not very good. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching anyway. Uh, if, if, you've got, if you guys have got channels as well, just let me know, I'll subscribe. I mean, all I do is spend most of my time watching 
reefing videos. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, the more accounts I've got, the better. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.